example, you know, a head teacher might have a teacher who's, who, who that head teacher knows that that teacher is better than the others. In politics, you might have somebody, you, you know, Tony Blair dealing with Gordon Brown, it was like his special talent. You dealing with Johnny Wilkinson, yep. who didn't behave like special talent because he's such an amazing guy. Yep. But actually, how do you, how do you kind of, impo not impose a hierarchy, but how do you deal with the fact that there is a hierarchy because there's a hierarchy of talent? Um, a very really, really good question. I mean, the, the first thing, and, and, I've, and I've done this in business and sport, I'll always ask to hire the most talented person. I want the most gifted. I don't care what their background is, if they've come with a bit of baggage. I want the most talented person. I'm confident mm. with the way I would manage that person, that I'd get the best out of them. But when you've got this person, and there's various names of these people, you know, from, from Mavericks, and I'm often asked in every world, you know, how do you deal with the superstar business person? How do you deal with the superstar if they're a bit awkward? And I said, well, it, it's, it, what I find is the opposite. Meaning, what the first thing I do with these people is, you know, I have a very simple saying that great teams made of great individuals. I repeat it, great teams made of great individuals. You know, I'll never ever underscore the importance of teamwork and all this sort of stuff, but I think sometimes it's overplayed. What I think the secret to teamwork is, if you get every individual in your team, I mean every individual, from the player to the, the coaches, the sports scientists, you get every individual in, in your team working at the optimal level, the team stuff becomes a lot easier to do. So I see my role as the leader to make sure I am doing everything possible to improve you as an individual, which doesn't mean dumbing down, doing all this team stuff. I'm going to make you, Johnny Wilkinson, in this example, a better player, which is really challenging because he's already a, you know, really talented. And that's the challenge of leadership. How, what am I going to do to make you a better player? And what I've found, and I, had a, I saw it especially in football, in my, in my short time in football, that sometimes the opposite happens. Some of the, the leaders, the, the, the head coaches, they almost become a bit intimidated by these superstar players mm. and they kind of leave them out there. That's the big mistake. You leave mm. them out there under their own devices, they can cause all sorts of problems. Mm.